Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Um, this has been kind of difficult to capture. Um, I want to show interesting interactions with the uh, magnetic field from this plasma device. So I had to position the camera carefully. This is really hard to capture. Um, we are looking down onto the apparatus. This right here, of course, is the central spherical electrode, and then this is the copper mesh grid, and then, then that's the copper tube, and then, of course, there's the glass enclosure. Um, here's, let's see, here's what the plasma looks like turned on, and you see this little lump of white here? So, oh, I forgot to say, yes, I did, in this experiment, is the cathode. And the ring and the sphere are the anodes of the flyback output. Okay, and um, if I turn the system on, you can see that there's this generalized blue glow. But there's this white lump right here, and then there's the white ring there. These, I believe, are the remnants of the anode glow, and then the blue, all this blue, of course, is the cathode glow. But with the vacuum and the configuration that I'm using, the anode glow is pushed away by all of the blue, and it only appears in certain areas. But because of some asymmetry and, or maybe a sharp point on the grid there, I'm getting some kind of a little lump of white anode glow right there. So um, that's the area of the plasma that I'm going to try to affect, or that I will affect. Now here is a stack of really, really strong uh, NDB magnets. These are much stronger than your little chrome-plated button magnets. They're so strong that it's almost impossible to uh, unstack them. There's a stack of six right there. One polarity, the north polarity is marked with this line, and the south polarity is not marked. And I've got them stuck to a... <coughs> I think you can tell how strong those are. I've got them stuck to a bolt head in this phenolic rod here by the end so that the poles are facing uh, outward from the flat sides there. And what I'm going to be doing is bringing, bringing one pole of the magnet or the other pole of the magnet near that uh, white lump of concentration, concentrated plasma, and you'll see Hopefully you'll see uh, the difference in effect. So I'm going to turn the plasma on and I'm going to turn the overhead light off like that, just for clarity. Okay, now I'm going to bring the north facing pole of the magnet towards that white plasma lump. And pay attention to which, which way the, that lump goes. Okay, so back and closer, 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 closer. You see how that lump kind of gets pushed to the left as I bring the magnet on a stick closer to it. Now I'm going to reverse, just roll the magnet over, so now I'm going to bring the south polarity of the magnet towards that lump. Closer, 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 further away. Closer, 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 further away. So that lump is now moving towards the right around the edge. Okay, so back to the north polarity. I'm trying to be very careful and move it, move the magnet in on a on a radius of the sphere, very carefully, not trying to push the thing in either direction. Now south. Now north again, and here I'll just uh, roll the magnet, now 
Now I'm going to bring the magnet close, close enough to actually touch the glass. And can you see what happens? The white kind of gets scared away, but the blue comes up and actually touches the glass and tries to seek out the magnet. If I change polarities, the white gets pushed away in the other direction, but the blue still comes up and wants to seek out the magnet through the glass. I'm kind of moving it around there. Okay, so we have apparently two different kinds of plasma in there. There's the white anodic plasma and the blue, call it cathodic plasma. The blue is attracted to either polarity of the magnet. South, north. And the white is, uh, it's, it would be spiraling away. Since, since the geometry doesn't, doesn't allow you to see a spiral in this configuration, the white is moving in one direction as I approach with one polarity of the magnet and it's moving in the other direction as I approach with the other polarity of the magnet. And that would be... See what I'm doing here? I'm just rolling the magnet back and forth, left and right. Now I'll just roll it in a continuous direction. I can actually make the white spot disappear. And of course then, and draw the blue to the magnet while scaring the white away. Okay, thanks for watching. Interactions of magnetic field externally applied with cathodic and anodic plasmas in the Anatmosphere Torella simulator. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just wanted to show in, in three dimensions off of the tripod where that uh, lump of white plasma is appearing uh, in context. Okay. Um, with the experiment configured the way it is, that is with the grid, the cathode, and the uh, um, sphere and ring anodes, I, I see this really nice, well-defined cylinder of plasma around the grid. Uh, and at the very, very top of that cylinder where it meets the inner wall of the glass, there's a concentrated ring. It shows up much better visually. Uh, there's a concentrated ring of white on top of the purple pink uh, plasma. And that uh, just went away. There it is again. Okay, I'm not doing anything. It's just doing that spontaneously. Uh, anyhow, there's another white lump there. Those white lumps are appearing in a kind of a crown ring on top of that uh, plasma cylinder that's surrounding the grid. And when I was playing with the magnet, we were looking down on that from a fixed mount top view. And I have no explanation for why that lump is appearing and disappearing right now.